So this is the back of the house. Uh, this way is towards the kitchen, and this way is towards the den and the sunroom. I think that's what we're going to call it. And then my wife Sam has a workshop that's just also at the end there. Uh, there is one room that's original to the house, and there's an extension that we think went on in the 60s. We're not sure. Let's go take a look at the uh, kitchen. So welcome to our, what I would call a bit of a disaster of a kitchen. Um, when we first moved in here, um, we noticed that the ceiling, which is also the floor of our master bedroom, was down by about this much. So you, you basically felt like you're walking downhill as you walked across the bedroom floor. So it's not that it's going to structurally collapse or anything like that, but what we wanted to do is get it up as much as we could. So I've started and I had it kind of halt because there were other priorities at this point. Um, but I basically started scissoring on with uh, construction adhesive and bolts and getting the floor joists to be a little more rigid and, and jacked up. So I've done about a third of it. But what I'm going to be also doing is doing noggins, which are kind of like the uh, supports this way as, out as well. Uh, when we first moved in, I also was exploring the fireplace because I was wondering, this is kind of an old house, and if you look at this, and you look at this metalwork and this kind of stucco stuff, it looks very 60s to me, and this, these wings, whoever they are, to keep the, the, the draft going up, and this curve, that doesn't look very original to us. So what I was thinking is maybe there would be a, an original old kind of stone fireplace behind, but everywhere I've kind of picked at and looked at, which, which is what all this is, to try to find for something on there, I don't think so. There's nothing that we found. So I think at some point they removed the old one and they rebuilt it. Um, this house was, we think, completely redone in the 60s. That's why we don't have a lot of ceiling roses. We don't have a lot of the original um, covings around the ceilings. It probably would have been a lot more grand back in the day, um, looking at some of the other houses in this area, in this in the next couple villages. Uh, we also think that this place hasn't been touched since the 60s. What I'm going to do is take this, kind of go the idea with this woodwork, and I'm going to frame this all. I'm going to probably remove the wings, uh, maybe keep the brick and this, uh, this, these metal um, parts of the fireplace and then wood all the way around and then make it a little more elegant, I guess. Now this floor, um, which I've taken a little section up over here and I've basically had to cut uh, about a half a square meter out and dug down around a foot and a half. So about this much by this much and then down by the same amount um, in order to get the drainage, the sewer pipe, from the back garden, which is what I've been doing a lot of work on over the last three years, is getting the slope of the garden, uh, getting all the irrigation in, and that kind of thing, and getting the plumbing from the outside inside better. Uh, it used to just run on the outside of the house, uh, but it now comes into here. So what I'm going to be doing is checking up all these tiles. Uh, the, the little section I took, out, took out before came out really easily. So what I'm, because all there is is a tile, like a kind of a handmade tile. And then there's about that much of like a lime mortar underneath it. And that's just sitting on dirt, probably was sand originally, but there, there's no concrete uh, underneath it, nothing. So it's just like really uneven in here. So I'm going to dig down six inches, maybe a foot, something like that, put a, a, a layer of insulation, plastic, and then pour a concrete base, probably 15 centimeters, something like that, which is like six inches, something like that. Um, and then put these same tiles back down. Also in this room, what we want to do is we're going to be putting um, a kind of a large um, kind of a French style uh, stove in here. So this will be all this with like a, a heat vent, uh, extractor fan up here. This will kind of be the, the, the stove area. We'll have the fridge over here. We're going to have cupboards, lower cupboards. We're going to do, most French people don't, and Europeans don't have the upper cupboards, but because we want the storage for pots and, and, and things like that, we're going to have to a certain height, we're going to have cupboards up to here as well, all the way around. And then on this wall over here, we're going to have a big pantry. And then right in the center here, we're going to have a island uh, with stools on this side. And then you basically be able to cook in this area here, kind of your L shape that you want. You got your stove, you got your fridge, and then you got your sink here. So this will kind of be the cooking end or the cooking area. And yeah, we have dishwasher and um, probably have one of those pot things, you know, to fill your pots with hot water for the stove over there. And yeah, it'll be, I think it'd be really good. Uh, it's a good size kitchen. I think it's like five meters by five meters, approximately. Most of these rooms are, it's quite big. And uh, we have an original light from the place. 
and uh, it's really amazing that we're going to restore. Uh, we're also going to do a bunch of um, LED lights in the ceilings and have two circuits so we can either put the, the fancy kind of, um, what do you call it, chandelier. It's not really a chandelier, but it's it's a style of light that people had in the kitchens back then. Uh, it was originally would have been like either candles or gas or something like that, and it's been kind of retrofitted to have lights in it, so we're going to use that. Lots of polishing on it. It's bronze, I think, so we're going to try to shine it up and make it look good. Uh, but yeah, basically that's the plan for this room. So it's going to be a lot of work, which is kind of why we stopped it as well, because we need to fix the floor up. Uh, we had to get the plumbing and the stuff outside uh, done before we tackled as big a project as this. Another really cool thing we have is that in this corner over here, we, we were a bit on the fence of what we wanted to do, but we have a sink over there that's one piece that's a huge marble sink it's got to be you know, it's huge that big and we're going to keep that and because we have a lot of cats we're probably going to use that kind of the cat area we're going to have like cupboards full of cat food and their water bowls and food bowls in there because the ceiling is quite low you kind of bang your head on there and i don't want to remove this whole thing and raise it this whole aquatic canopy, I don't know you would call it, but this buttress or whatever that is. I don't want to raise stuff and make a lot more work for myself. That'll just kind of be a sink that we don't use very often. But yeah, the cat water can go in there. And we don't want to lose something as amazing as that huge big sink. We're done with the kitchen. Let's go and check out the den and the sunroom. 